a gold mine. Okay. STDs, getting chlamydia, it blows mine. I don't got time for the bullshit. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're doing something a little bit different. So today we're gonna do a talk. So what I did was that I asked like um, Instagram and then I asked a few of my friends and stuff to give me questions. And then I answer here. So let's get started. So the first question is how to deal with drama. So one answer to that is mind your business, okay? Like you can hear things you can see things but 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 don't repeat it don't don't start moving it around don't start uh, tell other people what you see what you hear and don't judge people and don't get into their problems because if it doesn't affect you or if it doesn't benefit you then what's the point you know what i mean why add all that stress into your life when you can add serenity into your life you get what i'm saying it's not worth it especially in high school because let me tell you something the people you fight now in high school, you probably won't rem remember them six years down the line. So is it really worth it? No. So the second question is how to not be a hoe. Okay, so the word hoe is used so easily these days. Like a girl could be with a guy and then she breaks up with me and she, she breaks up with her and she's automatically viewed as a hoe. A girl could talk to other boys and she's automatically give you as a whole but guys can also do it and they're not called a whore so it's like that word is just used for everything these days at this point i do want to remind you guys this your body is you have to think of it as this because it is true your body is a gold mine okay your body is worth so much and it's worth so much respect from you like our bodies literally could make a whole human being could take care of a whole human being inside of us for nine months you get what i'm saying like your body is a gold mine like your body is so important so i feel like and it's so valuable that i feel like you have to remember if you do have multiple you know partners that you do stuff with i mean that's your choice that's your body nobody could nobody um has the right to tell you what to do with your body but then you also have to remember that i don't know where these other guys also been with or even guys like i don't know who these girls also been with so y'all have the higher chance of getting stds getting chlamydia and all this stuff you know so treat your just treat your body well and be conscious be conscious of who y'all let touch your body you know like be conscious of who you give the right to do whatever they want with your body or to touch your body you get what i'm saying like just just treat it respectfully you know what i mean how school like nowadays so right now my school is still full quarantine like we still um we still do our work in the computer i low-key like that more like in the beginning i did not like it because it was just disorganized and messy and stressful as hell but now the way that they have it organized i wouldn't mind if i had to stay this whole year um doing it at home it just and because i've noticed that it gives me more time in the day because i don't have to walk all those blocks and i don't have to take all those buses and all those trains just to get home so another question is what's the biggest turn off Ooh, that's a good one i feel like the biggest turn off for me is like cockiness and stupidity like literally i could see a boy and then i could be like oh he's cute but then he opens his mouth and is like yeah no like <laughs> this is a no-no for me because like you know how you these boys when they try to show i want you like oh i got all this money oh mind you there are ones oh i got all this money oh i do this and that and then like it's like do you do you really think that that's that that's what we like like do you really think that acting this way is gonna make us like you more so yeah and like the immaturity that these boys have these days is just it blows mine so at this point it's what i don't even fuck with that i don't got time for that okay i don't got time for the bullshit nope um how was your first period like so what oh, this <laughs> yo this this is kind of like tmi um 
No, it's kind of like, you know. Okay, so my first period. So when I first got my first period, it was in fourth grade. And I just, was it in fourth grade? Yes, it was in fourth grade. And I just remember it like feeling a rush. But I was like, you know what? It's nothing, you know what I mean? And then when I went to the bathroom, when I stood up from my chair, I saw like a blood stain on the chair. So I like tried to wipe it off real quick with my, with my sweatpants because it was gym that day too. And I go to the bathroom and I see that my whole back pants is like stained. Is like stained. So I just literally put my big ass coat on. Thank God it was last period too. And then I just went to my aunt's house and was like, um, I kind of need help here. So yeah. Um, what was the first risky thing you told your mom? Like honestly, my life is boring as hell. Like I really don't do anything risky. Um, but well, like telling my mom I like a boy count. I don't think so. I don't know. I haven't lived in, in long enough yet to do risky things. Um, most embarrassing moment in public. What was the? Cause I've been embarrassing myself on a daily. Okay, like if you know me, you know I've been embarrassing myself on a daily. Like it's bad. Um, but the most embarrassing moment in public. What was the most embarrassing moment in public? Three hours later. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I, I honestly don't know. Oh, this question. Um, if you was gay, what type of girl would you like? I mean, if I was gay, I feel like the same qualities that I would like that I like in a boy, I would also transfer it if I did like a girl. So like being loyal, protective, confidence, but not like the ugly cockiness of confidence. Um, confident. I don't like a person who wants to like to who wants everybody to like them and wants to be friends with everybody. Like I don't I don't I don't think I'll like a boy like that. Um I guess caring. And yeah, honestly I don't have a lot of experience with a boy in order for me to really like know exactly what I like, but right now at the top of my head, those are the ones. Um another question is what was your first relationship like? So, would y'all believe me if I ever told y'all that I honestly never been in a relationship? Like, does a two-week relationship in middle school count? Because I don't think so. Um, So, I honestly never been in a relationship. And like I said, I don't have no patience for stupidity. I don't have no patience for immaturity. Like, if I could barely deal with my immature as well, do you, do you think I really want to deal with a with a man that no with a little boy that isn't even my blood like i don't got time for that okay it's just no no for me like one stupid thing you say and i'm running in the other direction would you like to have kids in your future yes um i actually want a big family like um i actually want like a close-knit big family you know that because my mind of thinking is like if i die or something or you know we die or something i don't know i just be thinking like this okay like if me and whoever i have kids with die or something at least they have each other and they can protect each other like my mentality that's why when i do have kids i want them at least one or two years apart because i want them to be close and i want them to feel and realize that no matter what happens or who they lose if they don't have this friend or whatever um, it doesn't really matter and they shouldn't care because at least they have each other. You know what I mean? Like even though my brother annoys me to death and I just want to kill him so much. I still know that he has my back and I have his. And that no matter what he loses or who I lose or who he loses, friends or whatever. That we still have each other. So I actually got a question from one of my friends. Um, is um, what is it like not having a father in your life? So for, probably y'all don't know this, but out of 41 days of being born, my father did die from a heart attack. I mean, when I first found out, um, when I used to look at his pictures, I used to cry because it's like, you know, but he has a father and I don't. But 
I don't feel like it really affected me so much because my mom literally stood up to the plate. Like, she's my father, she's my mother. Like, I'd be getting her stuff for Mother's Day, I'd be getting her stuff for Father's Day because it's like, ooh, she like really stepped up to the plate. Like, she's my bull model, my strength, my Wonder Woman. Like, she's just everything to me because she has been everything to me. Like, she's given me everything. Like, she will go hungry just for me to eat. Like, ooh. Then I was gonna get so emotional. I don't think I'm gonna put this, but um, she's a she's literally the strongest woman I know. She's like amazing. Like her strength is just unbelievable to me. Which I feel like that's. I feel like losing a parent also makes you more overprotective and more paranoid. Like sometimes people be noticing this, and I be <laughs> noticing this. Sometimes I be acting like I'm the mother and she's the child, but it's because you always have that. Like even when she goes out or something, and she don't pick up the phone, I be hitting her like ten times. Like um, why aren't you picking up the phone? Where are you? What are you doing? Like are you okay? Because like when you only have one parent, it's like. You know, that's your own parent, you know what I mean? So if you lose that, you don't have nothing, you get what I'm saying? And she's like my backbone, like she's my best friend and she's my everything. So if I lose her, I don't know what I'll do. So, um, yeah, this was it. I hope you liked it. Um, we got a little bit emotional there. But I hope you like it. Y'all don't know. I always do this last minute. My name is Natasha Bueno. I'm 17 years old. Um, from the Bronx, Dominican. My favorite color right now, right now, as I can see, is gray. Before it was pink. I had a whole lot of pink in this room. And yeah, I hope you comment. I hope you like. I hope you subscribe. And I hope you turn in. You enter into this journey with me. Love you.